day for you. So what, what were your emotions like after that fight? Uh, fed up, man, because um, I went through hell to make weight for a four-minute match to get sent back to England. <laughs> fed up, man. Could you see at the time? I mean, did the, did the doctors make the right decision, or do you feel like, man, I should have been able to, to keep fighting? Keep fighting till you kill me. <laughs> That's it, man. If I ask you your questions and I walk to you, what more do you want? So was it important for you that they put this exact fight back together? I mean, obviously you just wanted to compete, but was it important that they put this one back together? Um, yeah, 50-50 in the sense of, like, I don't care if it was someone else. just want to fight, to be honest. Yeah, so. Talk about the preparation. Now you've been in there with him. I mean, he was having some success against you, so do you feel like that was just that night, or do you feel like I, I got to make some, some changes to how I approach this, this fight? Uh, a bit of both. Yeah, it was that night, and, yeah, there's certain changes. There's a reason, well, yeah, he got a good shot. You know what I mean? There's a reason why that went that way. And uh, people around me know the reasons why. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of change have been made now. So, some things kind of going on outside the cage. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. So, I've got a very good poker face. Yeah, I've got heart. Do you know what I mean? So, I want them ones like, whatever's going on outside, in there, I'll never shy away from it. You have to kill me. Like, I'll drop, but I'll get back up somehow, some way. Even if the ref didn't stop it, I was going to get up anyway. Like, you have to finish me off. Me personally, if I had someone in that position, they'll be dead. So. You, you talk about the weight cut. Are, are you done with that? Yeah, 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 man. That's what it is. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't make excuses. Like I said, he had a good shot, though. Got a good shot. But the game plan that I wanted to um, pursue um, couldn't go without no energy. Um, I was having uh, the first the first half. Like, no one forgets. Everyone just sees him dropping me in the second half. The first half went my way. Had him on the back foot the whole time. But I wasn't. I was just too static, too stationary. Um, and then from when he held me, a lot of energy went down. Like, it's just pissing me off, man. Sorry for the language, it's pissing me off. Like, it's, it's not just that fight, though. It's every middleweight fight I had, like, I ain't no hypocrite. Even the fights that I've won, I'm grateful for, do you know what I mean? But everyone just gets me there and holds me there. And it's like, I'm trying to get out, do you know what I mean? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But that don't happen to me when I'm at a camp, do you know what I mean? And uh, I just feel like the last one, I was really depleted, man. But I didn't show that. Unless I'm telling you now, you wouldn't know. Right. Um, but like I said, I don't take nothing away from him. Like, it was a good shot, do you know what I'm saying? But my mind wasn't there. It wasn't there at all. So I made a few changes now. So it's going to be good. Nice. I guess light heavyweight uh, fight week's a lot, a lot more pleasant for you? A lot more pleasant, man. Like, I'm just smiling. I'm eating. Yeah, all the food you can imagine. I'm yamming it, man. Any ice cream, all these. I'm just yamming it all, man. I'm just happy. Uh, and that's been like that for the whole camp. And in my eyes, I believe that you should make weight when you're in camp. Make weight in fight week. Enjoy your camp. Do you know what I mean? That's one thing I haven't had for about five, maybe six years or five years. I haven't enjoyed a camp. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've enjoyed it like 50-50, do you know what I mean? But not fully like this. And as I noticed, when I've enjoyed it, the stats have gone up. I'm beating, I'm beating like records in the gym. And I, there's no downward motion. It's all gone up, 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 up. Do you know what I mean? So, and even fight because well, people are saying to me already like you're smiling a lot more, you know, interview you're smiling a lot more. Do you know what I mean? Apologies if I'm not now, I'm just tired, but you get my drift. <laughs> you're May smiling. Maybe heavyweight next. Oh, don't, 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 don't <laughs> test me, man. It's a lot of rice and peas and jerk chicken for that, man. Oh. Nice. Last thing for me then, talk about the goal here. I mean, do you feel like you got to like make some kind of statement that this is your division and or, or, you know, get some revenge for what happened last time or anything like that? Or is this just, just a fight? It's mainly just to give my body a recover, like give my body a rest. I mean, I haven't left middleweight. Everyone assumed that I've left middleweight. I just need, I need a break. I've been cut. I'm not a middle. I, I go middleweight because I'm a high and my reach and do you know what I mean? But I, I walk out, I walk out heavyweight. Do you know what I mean? And I've been doing that for, I don't know my record, what, 11, 12 fights now, but my body needs a break, especially in the condition we're making it in now. Um, we don't get to use saunas. So we're using portable saunas. It's hence why you're seeing people drop. And I've done that three times now. And believe me when I say this, when I'm on the scale, yeah, I love to drop. <laughs> it feels so comfortable just dropping down, but you can't, you've got to stand strong, you know what I mean? So understand why people are dropping. But um, yeah, back to your question. Um, yeah, I haven't left middle, it's just I need a break do this one, maybe another one, do you know what I mean? Body to recover. And I've noticed being this category now, my body has recovered a lot in the sense of like training and um, how I'm performing and just how I'm being in fight week. Um, 
Is it a revenge thing? Um, I don't know, man. People take this shit too much, too seriously, man. And there's a sport, do you know what I mean? Just go fight and enjoy it. That's what I miss doing. Happy fight is a dangerous fight, right? So I can't remember the last time I enjoyed a cut until now, do you know what I mean? So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I just want to go and have fun, man. Just like, you know, actually walk out and just like, yeah, smile. Like, yeah, time to go, you know, do a little shimmy in there. So just some madness in there. That's what I'm like when I'm at a camp, but you guys don't see that. You guys just see me like depleted from the day before. Everyone just sees you walking out. They don't see what you go through in a the week. They don't see your coach pick you up off the floor when you're cutting weight. That ain't happened now. Yeah, he ain't picked no one up, man. I'm standing up strong. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll get carried. I took my top off, but I don't want to embarrass few people. But yeah, <laughs> Darren, do, do, do you see this fight anyway going the distance with y'all being so familiar and both being explosive guys at a bigger weight class? Is there any way it goes the full fifteen? Um, maybe, maybe not. You know, that's the beauty of MMA. Anything can happen. You know, you wear those small gloves. I will drop him. He can drop me. Um, you just never know. But I'm prepared for the distance anyway. Do you think he's coming in a little bit overconfident, thinking that hey, I was winning. If, if that fluke accident didn't happen, I was gonna I was gonna get that hand raise. I'm just finishing what I started. Yeah, that's that's normal. But like I said, I'm not depleted now. So it's gonna be a different ball game. But again, you know, MMA, MMA. He will have some sort of confidence. Um, my game plan ain't changed. My, my weight's changed, and I've made a few changes and tweaks. And it's gonna be lightning, man. Like I'm gonna, you're gonna be. I'm not, I'm not in this category for good, but there's no light heavyweight that moves like me. You, do, you didn't see movement last time. You've, I started off well because I got heart. I got a good poker face. I was drained. Um, so he will come in confident, but it's okay. It's good to be confident. I'm coming in happy and confident. Two confident fight, gonna have a good, good fight, right? So. You, you alluded to the, the, the recalls and change. You, can you give us some insight? You've been very vague about that. I can't give you I, insight, I heard man. you say it two times already. That's so. naughty. That's naughty. You're asking for a lot, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, I just know I've made some changes. Like, a lot of these guys want to grapple. Grapple, grapple, grapple. He will come in confident thinking because he dropped me. But in the day, I hit him. He hit me. I dropped. I know why I dropped. I'm not saying it's not a good shot, but I know the team will know around me why I dropped. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go into it, but in terms of changes that are made, I can't really give you that until you see Saturday. So, and we, uh, so many do y'all, y'all do go, y'all get deep in the in the third round. Do you think you got the cardio advantage? Because he just t- he tends to fade it. Do you think I got the cardio? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Question. Yeah, I know you got to do your job. I know, I know. It's just funny to hear. I ain't heard that for years, man. <laughs> you lot think I got cardio at middleweight, and like I said, that's me depleted and I've got heart. I've got a lot of cardio at light heavyweight because it's just me being normal. Do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, we're human beings. He weighs himself on me, I weigh myself on him. You're going to get tired, isn't it? But I'm confident in my cardio. Like, I'm a, I'm a five round fighter. Do you know what I mean? So, but obviously it's three rounds. I've got a lot of cardio, trust me. I, I know something might happen. You might pull me back on it and say, Darren, say got a lot of cardio. Hey, you think you're slack? I got that guy, man. I want to say it in my chest, innit? I got cardio. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> here's, something I, here's something I do want to ask you. I don't, I've been coming to sport for a few years, and one thing I've never understood, and you kind of said it, you say you rather cut the weight during fight week than during training camp. What is cool about losing 25 pounds, 20 pounds in, one, in like four or five days and then you get hit in the head on Saturday? I've never comprehended that. So can you give me some insight to that, to that mentality? I know it's, it's, what's, it's what's, in the sport. What's 25 pounds in KG? Well, I'll give me, I, I can't convert. I'm a smart man. I work man. I can't KG, so I don't know. Like Oh, that's a lot in a week. Um, are you saying that's what I was doing or? No, I'm saying like that, that mentality in the sport. Why do people do that? I don't know. I don't know. But you know, I know why people do that because they don't fight in their own weight category because they're scared about the people's sizes. Everyone's big on this size, 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 isn't it? Yeah. But I believe, yeah, just like fight where you're comfortable. I think Bisping said it one time in an interview. Do you know what I mean? Stop being a, you know, I ain't going to say on camera and just fighting your... Your, your category, like, is what it is, man. Like, yeah, these guys are bigger than me. So, but like I said, you guys don't see me at a camp. Like, they're bigger than me, longer than me. But when I'm happy, yeah, and I'm hydrated properly, it, it, it's madness. Um, I don't know why people do that. Well, sorry, I'm going back on myself. I do know why people do that because um, they're getting told you can't go in this category because people are bigger than you. But then what happens is, you got a lot of weight to lose in, in on fight week, and you and you're getting all grumpy and you're getting depleted, but you've got to perform like that. 
And I personally think, I don't know, I don't know. I think when you're fighting depleted and you win, it's some sort of luck. You should be fighting fully hydrated, you know, feeling good. All right, cool. At worst, lose about, what, four or five kg maybe at max. But to t lose 12, that's a madness. But again, like I said, I know why people do it. And I was one of them. And my final question is, this year, before fighting UFC, how cool is it going to be to fight in front of a light crowd? You think you're going to be extra jumped? Got that juice in the building? Yeah, I'm, Saturday night? Yeah, I'm definitely going to be jumped. I mean, they boo me anyway, so... <laughs> I'm gonna be jumping through the booze, isn't it? <laughs> it's what it is. So, but it'd be nice, yeah. It'd be nice, man. Running out, do a little hand slaps and that. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then when they call your name, like boo, like yeah, give me some more booze. Like, you know what I mean? It'd be nice. It'd be nice. If they cheer me, I'd be happy though. It'd be, uh, <laughs> it'd be luck. I'm used to it though. Do you know what I mean? I'm used to hostile territory. Um, but it'd be nice. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Darren, over here. Yes, sir. Congratulations, by the way, on the big stage. Big fight for you. You get that rematch. But I want to ask you about your journey, man. Have, I asked you this last August before the Patolo fight, or maybe after, the journey of having to go back to Cage Warriors and then come back to the UFC. How much did your mindset change when you came back? How much did that maybe help you? And for anybody out there who might be struggling, who maybe has to take a step back or you know, not having their dreams come exactly true the way they want and then have to step back and go a different route to achieve them to get back, can you talk about that journey and, and what it was about you that that mindset that allowed you to stay focused and, and know you were going to get back here? I mean, it's the it's the people in the journey that's allowed me to stay focused. I, you know, my missus, my kids, family, friends, my coaches, they're the people in the journey that's allowed me to stay focused. It's not easy. I mean, let's be real, like everyone's big on this paper thing. And on paper, my career is doing this and that and this and that. But, and I do wake up sometimes and think, oh, F this, man, this is long. I mean, it, <sighs> people say like, I feel sorry for you, Darren. I feel sorry for myself sometimes, but it's what it is. But what my coach, Jermaine, always says is that, forget what's on paper, yeah? You have just gone up, yeah? You've just gone up in your training and your, if you look at every fight, every fight of yours is different, you have improved. Um, so don't dwell on that too much. Like you're just, your, your stats have just gone up, your stock's just gone up. So that motivates me in this journey to keep going, keep focused. Um, but yeah, I'm just fed up, man. Like you, you, you do so much in this camp, for example, and uh, you, you're cutting so much weight and then you fight and then you don't get the win. And it's like, what? And it's like, even the opponent is saying that you should have won it, you know what I mean? When, on paper, it's a big thing. Like you, them guys, not you guys, but people are just so big on paper. So that's an L. And then you go back again. You get another fight, and it's like, okay, you go through that weight cut again. You're struggling in your in, in your camp. You're cutting weight and trying to train for a fight. You know, you travel so many miles and hours to get here. You're killing yourself to make the weight. Corona this, Corona that, and then you get in there for four minutes. They say no contest. Happy days. They go home back to their family. We got to go start all again. It's just draining. There's times where it's like, I can't be able to do it. But again, the people around me in the journey are the ones that allow me to stay focused. So anyone out there that's going through what I'm going through, just keep your head down and keep working. You know what I mean? It's in God's hands, man. Just trust the process and the result will take care of itself. You really have to love it. You have to love it. And uh, I wasn't loving it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I wasn't loving it for a long time. This is the first time I've loved it for a long time. And I believe it's the cut that made it like that. Um, you have to love what you do, man. I'm enjoying myself right now. Like before it was like, oh my God, I got to come back all the way over there. And then, you know, there might be a case where you might win some, you lose some. And I get that, that's life, innit? Yeah, but if you lot know the work I put in, man, you'll feel sorry for me, do you know what I mean? And uh, I'm just, I just keep going. I'm just keep going, keep going and, uh, I just hope for the best, man. Like I'm, just, I'm just fed up. Man. I just want to win, man. Fuck's sake, bro. <laughs> like, just, just win fair and square, man. It's just, it's just, just, it's just jarring, man. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm looking to go and do. What I'm going to do on Saturday. So, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Darren. Um, mm. uh, the UFC is going to London in in, in a couple of months. Um, you or don't uh, if you get out of the fight unscathed uh, on Saturday. Do you want to? Jump, uh, jump on that card. I think it's September. I heard about it, yeah. If I get out of the fight unscathed, I don't care, but I'll fight with one leg. <laughs> it don't bother me, man. Like, just call me up, I'm ready to fight. It don't matter, man. Come out. 
little cuts and bruises and that. It's a fight game. Do you know what I mean? Just give me a call. Um, it would be nice to actually step foot in the canvas in London. Why I say that is because I was on the, London, the last London show I think they had. Um, I was meant to be on that card. And I remember um, I was on a card, but then one of the guys that I had a fight, meant to fight, I think he broke his leg or something like that. And um, they said they're going to find me someone else. And uh, they couldn't find someone else, so come off the card. And then that was bad luck. Then I meant to fight um, just before the corona shit happened. Um, then corona came, so that's bad luck. <laughs> so you see how I'm going with this. I'm not going to force it, but I'll, be, I'll just love to just, you know, put my big toe in that canvas and say, yeah, I made it. Until then, I don't know. But I'll love to fight in it, yeah. London. And finally, um, if you're successful on Saturday, is light heavyweight permanent, possibly? Um, I'm liking a light heavyweight in the sense of, like, I can get more fights in a year. So, like, no, like, even if it's lightweight or catchweight, call me up, I'm ready. Yeah, so it's permanent. It's not permanent. Like, I'm still going to do middleweight, you know what I mean? But it's just, like, I, I need my body to give a – my body needs a break. Like I said, you guys just see me walk out. Like, I'm poker facing it, man. Like, trust me, I would love to drop on the floor. I'm depleted. But I don't because I've got heart in it. I'm from a strong family and we got heart. So you guys see me come out and perform and thinking, yeah, damn, I performed and he got the win. But you ain't really seen it yet. No one's seen it yet. I'm just, I'm, I'm fighting on low fuel. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm pushing through. I've just got heart, man. Um, so, yeah, back to your question. Not permanent, but I want the UFC to know that Mm, there's a catch weight there, call Darren Stewart. There's a light heavyweight there, call Darren Stewart. Or oh, if there's a middleweight, then give me enough time to like make the weight, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm pretty much always on weight. So if, if it's there, if the fight's right, I'll take it. And you say that you have a good poker face, and I, I believe you. And so I'm kind of wondering, without your poker face, you must be terrifying because um, you... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that, man. Yeah. We're at the poker face. Yeah, I'm terrifying. Um, it's a bit of both. We're at the poker face. I'm happy, to be fair. Yeah, a bit of everything. <laughs> cool. Thank you. You're welcome.